हेलो वी ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दैट सेकंड क्वालिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज इलिवेशन इन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ड्यूरिंग प्रीवियस लेक्चर एंड वे आल्सो एक्सप्लेन द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ दैट इलिवेशन इन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट प्रॉपर्टी फॉर डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ that solute which is dissolved in solvent and uh, based on that uh, there are many examples given and uh, you try to solve some examples small examples for 2 or 3 marks in your uh, question paper for your exam then we here discuss next qualitative property that is depression in freezing point of solution depression in freezing point depression depression means decrease decrease in freezing point of solution see here we already discussed second qualitative property elevation in boiling point elevation means increase means when solute is dissolved in solvent when non volatile solute is dissolved in solvent its boiling point increases its boiling point increases that is delta tb while because of addition of non volatile solute in solvent its freezing point decreases its freezing point decreases and that is known as depression in freezing point remember that boiling point increases but freezing point decreases this decrease in freezing point is known as depression in freezing point uh of solution and in this uh, point here uh, in this article we discuss effect of concentration on this uh, depression in freezing point of solution that is how that depression is uh, in freezing point is qualitative property how that one is depends on concentration of solute and relation between molecular weight of solute dissolved solute m2 and that of uh, depression in freezing point that is delta tf delta tf base to f huh? see here this one is diagram showing decrease in or depression in freezing point of solution and solvent uh, this one is also shows change in vapor pressure change in vapor pressure this diagram shows graph shows change in vapor pressure for solvent and solution with change in temperature that graph ab a b d that one is graph showing change in vapor pressure with the increase in temperature for pure solvent and graph uh e f e f shows change in vapor pressure of solution of same solvent solution of same solvent with increase in temperature we already known that because of addition of non volatile solute in a solvent its vapor pressure decreases that means vapor pressure of solution is always less than vapor pressure of solvent at any specific temperature and therefore vapor pressure curve for solution is always below the vapor pressure curve of 
pure solvent then here consider pure solvent at temperature d pure solvent at temperature d direct we here consider curve a b d which is uh, vapor pressure of curve vapor pressure curve for pure solvent with uh, ch with change in temperature then at point d that pure solvent is in liquid state as we decrease as we goes with decrease in temperature of this pure solvent then what happen vapor pressure also decreases with decrease in temperature along the curve bd or db hmm? decrease in at point b what happens here at point b that vapor pressure of that liquid solvent becomes equal to the vapor pressure of solid and at that state that liquid solvent changes into solid that is solidification of that liquid solvent takes place at point b and afterward with again decrease in temperature that vapor pressure again decreases and that one is um, shown here as a curve ba and at specific temperature bc bc hmm? bc that bc shows vapor pressure of pure solvent in solid state vapor pressure of pure solvent in solid state and bd shows vapor pressure of pure solvent in liquid state then for solution consider solution of same solvent at point f then as temperature decreases as temperature decreases vapor pressure of that liquid solution decreases along the curve ef and at point e at point e what happen that that uh, liquid solution changes into solid solution solidification of that liquid so solution takes place that that is therefore t is the temperature at point e which is nothing but um, which is a freezing point of that solution and t0 temperature at point b is nothing but vapor uh, sorry uh, freezing point of pure solvent and therefore change in freezing point or decrease in freezing point is here t0 minus t remember that t0 minus t is nothing but decrease in freezing point of solution or decrease in freezing point of solvent because of addition of that non -volatile, non volatile solute in that solvent because of that addition that much amount of temperature uh, freezing point is decreases therefore delta tf is equal to t0 minus t and uh, here we discuss depression uh, sorry uh, expression for um, that uh, delta tf and uh, so as to show that uh, depression in freezing point is a colligative property we must have to show that uh, relationship between delta tf and uh, concentration of that solute concentration of that uh, solution huh? then uh, consider for that purpose consider curve bg for uh, vapor pressure of pure solvent bg so bg means here uh, for pure solvent consider first curve this bg and for uh, solution curve is fe fe therefore we here two curves we consider and we apply that clapeyron clausius equation on these uh, two curves first on bg and for uh, on next on fe then uh, in this case 
फॉर बी जी टी वन इज नथिंग बट टी एंड टी टू इज नथिंग बट टी जीरो एंड पी वन इज पी जीरो एंड पी टू इज पी एस देन सब्सटूट ऑल दिज वैल्यूज ऑफ टी वन एंड टी टू पी वन एंड पी टू इन क्लॉ पी रॉन क्लॉज इज इक्वेशन फॉर प्योर सॉलमेंट कर दैट इक्वेशन बिकम एल एन पी एस अपॉन पी जीरो इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एच वी अपॉन आर इन ब्रैकेट वन अपॉन टी माइनस वन अपॉन टी जीरो वी ऑलरेडी नोन दैट इक्वेशन एल एन पी वन अपॉन पी टू इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एच वी अपॉन आर इन ब्रैकेट वन अपॉन टी वन माइनस वन अपॉन टी टू दैट इज टी वन एंड पी वन इज लोअर टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर एंड टी टू एंड पी टू इज हायर टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर रिस्पेक्टिवली देन हियर फॉर नेक्स्ट फॉर सोल्यूशन अप्लाय दैट क्लैपेरॉन क्लॉज इज इक्वेशन फॉर सोल्यूशन ग्राफ दैट इज फॉर सोल्यूशन ग्राफ वॉट इज द चेंज यू पू कंसिडर हियर सोल्यूशन ग्राफ देन धिस एफ ई इज अ सोल्यूशन ग्राफ हियर टी वन एंड टी टू आर सेम ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट instead of uh, lower pressure is changed here instead of p0 here in for this curve that pressure is p pressure is p that is at temperature t pressure is p and te at temperature t0 pressure is ps ps then uh, substitute substitute these values in uh, clapeyron clausius equation for uh, sol uh, solution curve that equation becomes equation becomes um, ps upon p in bracket delta hs hs because here solid solvent therefore solution is therefore solution sublimation heat of sublimation delta hs is upon r in bracket 1 upon t minus 1 upon t 0 then here <coughs> that is by solving that ln ps upon p is equal to delta hs upon r in bracket t0 minus t upon t1 in sorry t into t0 then subtracting equation 18 from equation 20 18 from 20 then here ln ps अपॉन पी माइनस एल एन पी एस अपॉन पी जीरो इज इक्वल टू दैट टी जीरो माइनस टी अपॉन टी इन टू टी जीरो दैट टर्म इज कॉमन एंड इन ब्रैकेट डेल्टा एच एस माइनस डेल्टा एच वी अपॉन आर दैट देर फोर दैट डेल्टा एच एस माइनस डेल्टा एच वी इज नथिंग बट इक्वल टू डेल्टा एच एफ दैट इज हीट ऑफ molal heat of fusion and substitute uh, um, in above equation that become ln p0 upon p by solving this that become equal to ln p0 upon p is equal to delta hf upon r t0 minus t upon t0 into t then uh, as per raoult's law that ln p0 upon p is equal to n2 upon n1 and as per that uh, previous uh, um, article here so n2 is equal to w2 upon uh, m2 and uh, w, n1 is nothing but w1 upon m1 that is number of moles of solute and number of moles for solvent then here that uh, n2 upon n1 becomes equal to that ln p0 upon p is nothing but n2 upon n1 and n2 upon n1 is nothing but w2 m1 upon w1 m2 substitute in above equation then that become then uh, as per definition of molality as per definition of molality that one is uh, substitute that definition and then we got here delta tf is equal to rt0 square uh, into 1000 w2 uh, upon 1000 lf into w1 m2 
therefore here we as in previous um, property delta tf is equal to kf into m here because that r t0 square upon 1000 lf this one is a constant which is known as kf that is molal cryoscopic constant molal or that one is also known as molal depression constant and as that one is constant term therefore that equation indicate that delta tf is directly proportional to m that means um, the depression in freezing point delta tf depends on concentration of solution that is molarity of solution hence it is colligative properties then um, by solving this we are al uh, also got relation between that uh, molecular weight m2 and delta tf that is from same equation we calculate uh, molecular weight of any solute which is dissolved in solution mm. there are many examples here also in another uh, publication books also given and try to solve that uh, small examples for two to three marks in your exam thank you